Learning new information surrounding New York State's sexual harassment investigation into Sam Hoyt. And we are learning new details tonight straight from the accuser in this case. We know now that Hoyt paid this woman $50,000 last year to keep allegations of harassment out of the public eye. But that fact and other facts came out front and center yesterday, just one day after Hoyt abruptly resigned from his $157,000 a year state job as the head of the Empire State Development Office here in Buffalo. Seven Eyewitness News I-Team lead investigator Charlie Speck spoke with the accuser this afternoon. Charlie? That's right. I spoke by phone today with the woman who says she was the victim of this harassment by Sam Hoyt. Now, the woman who was also a state employee at the time says she reported this behavior a whole year ago to the state, but Hoyt, of course, faced no consequences until this week. Now, she says what ultimately made her come out publicly were the positive comments by other state officials praising Hoyt and saying what a great leader he was for Buffalo. Now, she says the last 24 hours have really been tough on her with all sorts of people questioning her motives. She's now in talks with an attorney about how to move forward from here. Meanwhile, Buffalo attorney Lindy Korn, who has no connection to this case, says it takes a lot of courage for people like her, victims in these situations, to finally come forward. They don't want someone to know because once it happens, it makes you feel dirty or complicit. And so psychologically, it's very important not to blame a victim for not coming forth sooner because you cannot do it until you can do it. Like now, Korn wanted to stress here that she was commenting in general about sexual harassment, and she's not connected to this case. The woman in the case here isn't the only one, though, asking questions tonight. Erie County Republican Chairman Nick Langworthy is pointing at Governor Cuomo and his administration, asking why the governor would put his trust in someone with a record of sexual misconduct like Hoyt. Now, Hoyt was disciplined 10 years ago while he was a state assemblyman for having an affair with an intern in Albany. Now, three years later, Governor Cuomo appointed him head of Empire State Development's office here in Buffalo. Sam Hoyt was a guy that liked to get his hands into everything. Clearly, he liked to get his hands on everyone. It, it's reprehensible. It, it's unconscionable. It, was the governor's office involved in silencing uh, the, the complainant? the person that came forward with this and in, in, in launched the investigation. Was the governor involved in that situation or were his top aides in Albany involved in the situation that led to ultimately uh, the payout for the silence? Now Langworthy actually went on to say that Hoyt was nothing more than the governor's political henchman here in Western New York who had been quote masquerading with someone as someone rather with expertise in economic development. As for Hoyt's side of the story, in a statement to his lawyer, to 7 Eyewitness News, longtime state assemblyman from Buffalo said, quote, I have made many mistakes in my life. Having a short-term consensual and inappropriate relationship was wrong and something I regret. Now, when I attempted to end the relationship, he went on to say, she threatened me. At that point, over a year ago, my wife and I agreed to avoid public embarrassment to our family. Now, as for the governor, his aides are not speaking publicly now, but behind the scenes, they are saying that they dispute the timeline of events here that the victim is giving out. And they also point out that this payout here was not public money that was coming from Hoyt's wallet. Live in the studio, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.